user disconnected from your channel. Alright, his fingerprints and uh, mugshots are in the database. Alright, uh, what name came back on the intake there? Ross McFarlane. Mike Alpha Charlie Foxtrot Alpha Romeo Lima Alpha November Echo. What was the ID on the scene? The ID on scene? Yeah, what ID did it give you guys on scene? There wasn't one found on scene. Anything found on his person was a phone, and there was nothing in the vehicle. Great. I'm waiting for the county text to take care of that stuff, but yep. All right, uh, remove your That's lethal you weapons. Yep, I know you're staying here. You're you're here for the long run. All right, take your lethal weapons off. Dispatch 326. I'm uh, on the traffic stop. I have uh, 283 Al Bra Alhambra Drive. Uh, suspect's going to get a, uh, All right. a a trailer and a truck down here to trailer this uh, snowmobile out of here. So I'll be 10-6. Uh, You die? Come on. Let's go. Yes, I did. I don't want to waste this guy's time. All right, bring him in here. All right, sir, follow me. Uh yeah. Oh, oh, geez. You don't have a seat in that chair there. I like standing off. Better for your core. Probably is. Uh, Mr. 137, you can wait outside the door there. Incoming 911. Alright, from my understanding here, your name is Mr. Ross McFarlane. Uh, yep. All right, before we get going here, you want anything to eat, drink, snack on, any of that fun stuff? Uh, and, uh... Right. On the scene behind the Walmart, did the officers read you your rights? Uh, yes, you did. All righty. So, I would like to ask you a few questions here. Of course, you can plead the fifth or just choose not to answer. All units be advised. Medic 17 is going to be 1041-10A. Available right. for medical. Wow, radio really loud. Um, who was in the car with you behind the Walmart? Hell if I know. Okay. But I didn't know where he worked. He walks down into the near the ports in the city. Also, you guys have a bird problem. What was that? You guys have a bird problem. I'm unfamiliar with this phrase. Alright, um, 
what did he do when he got out of your vehicle? Uh, when? Uh, behind the Walmart. We have him on CCTV, get out of the car, and then it went to static. What happened in that time frame? Well, when he went out of my car, he started running. Some direction, I can't really remember. Okay. Incoming 911. Do you happen to know what he was wearing? Uh, like something, some black stuff. Like, I guess it's kind of like, how would you describe like what the black ops would wear? Just like some black stuff with a black mask, maybe like a black army helmet or something. Three twenty six. Show me code four. Back ten eight. Do you personally know the person, or was this just a random encounter? Personally, uh, eh, so and so. Met him before, but I don't really know him. Know him. Three twenty-six shots fired. Shots fired. Two seventy-seven. Um, is it you or him that's been answering the skybox? It's been me. Okay. Alright, well at this time you're going to be placed on a 72 hour hold, so if we need to question you again, we know you're going to be sitting over there at Bullingbrook. Uh, it's not an actual jail cell 326. area, you'll be able to go inside and outside as I you need please. 32s at 277 Panorama Drive, 277 Panorama Drive, shots fired. Take place, and we are trying to figure out who everybody is. One hour show me in uh, route. We managed to get some time down in the city, maybe we can find your buddy working at the ports, but uh, not sure if that's going to happen The vehicle's going to be a jacked up pickup yeah, with a big light bar up on top. Last right scene going. Brook. Sound muted. What was that? I don't mind spending time at that boiling brook. I used to work there. Uh -huh. Sound resumed. All right, so Bolingbroke took him. They're gonna hold on to him for 72 hours while we try and find his buddy, and then, uh, yeah, we'll go from there. All righty. Why? What the hell is 